Hi everybody, this is uh, Channing at Accurate Trains, and today I just want to give you some tips and a little walkthrough on how to time the Ruby kit by Accurate Trains. Uh, it's you know we've been selling these for about 20 years, and uh, I just wanted to offer my advice on how to time these uh, when you're putting the kit together. And this is just the way I do it. There may be better ways, so just fair warning. Uh, one tip is the gaskets uh, do have a direction. You know, there's a longer end. And so you have to, when you're putting them into the, under the valve, between the valve and the cylinder, it's important to make sure you're going the right way. Otherwise you'll be blocking uh, the steam from going through. Um, so right now, this one uh, was put together by our shipping manager, David, and I don't, the eccentrics are not tightened. So uh, the wheels are, I can push it back and forth and it's not turning the actual valves. And this is good just to see how it, you know, make sure it's moving because it should be moving pretty freely right now. Uh, it's good to just kind of get it, get it going. So this one's pretty good. Uh, the other thing is when you're putting it together, checking the reverser. Trying to get it as close as you can to where when you're in forward gear, the line just touches the end of the uh, valve block. Okay? Okay. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do the timing. Uh, I just start with one side and you move it so that the cylinder piston is at the farthest possible point. It's rear dead center. Now when you are there you go down to the closest eccentrics and just set that so that they are equidistant from each other, from the axle. Okay, almost like 90 degrees, 45 degrees from, from that point. Now I'm just gonna tighten it. And then I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna move the wheel so that it's all the way at the farthest point. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just roughly. So you see how the one, this is the side I just did. And these you see the two holes, the set screw holes? They're just right, the same distance from each other on this axis. Okay. I'm gonna give it a little push. And then I'm checking right now that the valves, there's a line etched in them. And I wanna make sure that they don't go further in than that. They should just go right to the edge and come back. So this one's a little bit, I could turn it a little. So that it comes out. Still a little. Okay, a little better. Feels okay, feels pretty smooth first time. You wanna make sure you have your moving parts oiled. So like the, uh, I like to put a little drop on the bearings, on the axle, a little bit on the um, eccentrics. Just a little bit, you do a little bit of steam oil even 
on the valve. Just and on the piston, so that when it goes in, it brings a little bit with it. Because while you're testing it on air, you're not getting any much steam oil in there. Uh, my other important thing is when you're putting it together is that you make sure that the rocker arms are in line. Okay, you should, you should try to get them in line as possible. Uh, I'm just gonna put this on air now. So this is my pressurized air. I like to put a little bit of steam oil right here. Put it in forward gear. All right, see, forward is pretty good. Reverse, not so good. All right. So I can tell right now that my reverser is not quite in the right spot because if I'm in neutral, it should be not turning. And I'm going in reverse, so I'm going to try find that sweet spot. So I'm going to try turning the reverser so it goes in a little bit more. Okay, so right now in for I got the air on. I'm in neutral, and I'm not moving. Still a little. So, okay. Pretty good forward, pretty bad reverse. And then, just about a little bit of uh, trial and error. One good, I, one good practice is that when you're in whatever gear you're in, is to move it in that direction. So I'm gonna go just do my timing steps again. And I just kind of pick a side and... I'll move a little bit, just a little in one direction. Not a lot of difference. Maybe I'll move a little more. Still good forward. Bad for so I think I'll try the other side then. I'm going to try moving the other way a little. A little better. Let's 
two ovens if I go a little more. A little better. Still good. Let's try moving it a little more. That made it worse. So if I make it worse, go back a little. Oh, that's better. Still good forward. Now I have to remember, what did I just do? What? You forget. <laughs> what did I do? Here we go. Look out a little more. There we go. That's pretty good. Good forward. It's good reverse. Doesn't do anything in the middle. All right. And that's how I would time the Ruby. Now, sometimes with these rubies, uh, you'll find that even if you have it, you think you have a time pretty good, but it's it goes and you you get some binding. 
All right. And usually, if the binding is in the same spot, it's pretty periodic binding, something could be constricting on the whole system. Uh, what I like to do is I like to see where it is. So what I'll, I will undo these set screws here and here so that the wheels and the valves are no longer tied together. And I'll do it one side first. And I'll just see if I take one side out, do they, does it roll pretty well now? And I have to be in gear, one of forward or reverse, but that's, I'll see. And if I feel like, okay, this side's clear, but when I put it back together, now I'm binding again. That usually means it's something with this rocker arm uh, or with this valve. And you may need to actually take the valve out, kind of make sure it's not, it can go back in and out easily. It may be that you didn't have the rocker arms lined up quite right. Um, it could be that the eccentrics are too tight uh, and they need to be kind of loosened. You know, it could, you could turn them around a few times, oil them. Uh, these are just a few of the things that could be causing binding. So one last, one last bit of advice is that some people like to time it in reverse um, for a different kind of admission, steam admission, where this is going forward and this is going in reverse. And the only way to do that is easy. Instead of, instead of normally where you would put this here to time this eccentric, you just put it in the most forward position and then you turn the uh, eccentrics around so that they're this way. And you do the same thing on the other side. So easy. Uh, some people like to do that. Some people may think it's more efficient. I'm not quite sure of actually the mechanics behind it. Uh, if you know, maybe you can put that in the comments. Uh, and uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.